ICANN was created to help move the domain name system that holds all the names and all the addresses together around on, on the Internet globally. And it was meant to transfer that responsibility from the U.S. government into the private sector, into a multi-stakeholder nonprofit organization. And the JPA was set up to assist that transfer and to make sure that transfer was successful. With the conclusion of the JPA, it means we've hit that target after 11 years, and we're now mature enough to move on to the next phase of our global development. So it's a real, real exciting time for us to, to, to enter a whole new level as an organization. How would you characterize the JPA? Would you characterize it as a success? Absolutely. I mean, there was a set of milestones that were established uh, specifically around engaging different stakeholder communities, the ad addressing groups around the world, the ISPs, the registrars, the registries, and cultivating those communities and getting them engaged in self-governance for the Internet. That has succeeded. JPA is gone. We now have this affirmation. What is this affirmation? The affirmation is an affirmation of commitments among the parties to effectively for us to have a continued relationship with the United States government and our commitment to do periodic reviews of our accountability and transparency or as an organization, of our performance and security and resiliency and in other areas. And we're committing to do those reviews, but in the past under the JPA, those reviews were simply submitted to the U.S. government. Under the new relationship, these reviews are developed by what will conventionally be an international committee uh, of parties chosen by our, the chairman of our government advisory committee, who represents 100 countries around the world, and the CEO of ICANN, myself, or in some cases the chairman of ICANN. And so what it means is we'll do some reviews, we're committing to do those, and the United States government will have one seat at the table at one of those three sets of reviews, and the rest will be as appointed by these parties, including the, the Government Advisory Committee. So what it really means is we're going global. All the reviews and all the work done will be submitted to, for public comment to the world. Okay, And the United States, just like every other country, will be a recipient of that information through the publication of the results. But there's no separate or unique or separate reporting to the United States government. All the reporting is to the world. That's the real change. Under the JPA, the reporting was just to the U.S. government, and some of it was handled publicly, and now all the reporting is global. A number of senior U.S. congressional leaders in early August sent us a letter expressing some concerns or things that, that it appeared they wanted us to have in any a relationship that might replace the JPA, in this case the affirmation document. And the affirmation document takes on all three of the issues that they raised and I think they should be quite satisfied. The first was that they wanted to see a long-term or, or a document with more permanence, a more permanent relationship. That is accomplished. The affirmation is a effectively a perpetual agreement. There are some abilities of the parties to exit, but it is fundamentally a long-standing agreement. Secondly, they were concerned that ICANN remain on U.S. soil for its headquarter offices. We have reaffirmed our commitment to do that in the affirmation agreement. And then thirdly, they wanted to make sure that we had adequate accountability for our performance as a private non-sector group. And as discussed already, accountability reviews will be part of what we do every three years from here on out, continuing as an organization under the affirmation document. If anyone's concerned about the conclusion of the JPA and is concerned about this move to the affirmation, they should just open their eyes and look at the world. The Internet is spreading everywhere. It's spreading into our PDAs, into our telephones, into our you know, computer uh, 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 classrooms in huts in Kenya, in the backwoods of Thailand, in the rainforest. The Internet's connecting us all, and it's this amazing fabric that's bringing us together as mankind. And it is a global phenomenon. In addition to the affirmation agreement, we're moving towards fully supporting different scripts and languages in domain names, and these two efforts will tie together very nicely. But the Internet's becoming more global because today you have to type .com or a dot extension that has English-like or Latin characters, what we call ASCII. In the, in, in the near future, next year we'll be rolling out Chinese, Russian, and different languages. So the affirmation is our commitment to be global and a report to the global community. And then technologically, we're opening up other pieces of the Internet, too. So the Internet is the primary expansion now is around the world, of course. It's highly saturated uh, in the United States and other advanced countries. And we're seeing tremendous uptake now across Asia and into Africa, Latin America, all over the world.